What's up guys, hope you're coping well. This is uh, part two of the end of body restoration. It's the front end this time. Lots more bolts for Al to undo, lots of repetition, so we're gonna keep it short and sweet and kind of try and speed the video up a bit, slow it down where we need to. But a lot of the kind of bits that he's doing are fairly obvious, like the under tray now and the arch liner. So for the time being, I'll leave you to it and let you enjoy the video. Thanks guys. So we've had a good amount of comments and suggestions on the last few videos really. It's nice to see and uh, encouraging for us. Makes us want to produce some more videos. If you can just let us know what kind of format you like, whether you like seeing us in front of the camera talking to it or whether you like this format, the voiceover format. Uh, either way, we're not bothered as long as you keep watching and uh, keep letting us know what content you'd like to see in the comments below. So this is the bit where a hammer is going to come in handy. You always need a hammer on the underside. You can get ball joint splitters, but you're still in danger of splitting the boot, so we tend to just knock it with a hammer. Defo needs to shout out to Al and give him a special thanks for videoing this content. He also spends a lot of time putting together the clips ready for me to edit and do the voiceovers etc. Cheers Al. Not going to go through every nut and bolt here. It's just way too much guys. It's fairly obvious what needs removing but if you're going to do something like this and you need some help then feel free to comment below and we'll try and answer as many questions as we can. Al's just draining the power steering fluid out here ready to remove some more bits. I know we keep banging on but if you like the content then please please consider subscribing hit the bell icon to keep notified of new content that we're uploading and if you're looking to see anything new then please feel free to make a comment below and we'll try and please as many as we can. Brace gets powder coated, more blasted and powder coated should I say. Nothing's excluded from this, anything that's on the underside that was powder coated by Ford goes off and gets powder coated again. So that includes some of the little back bracketry as well. Just makes it look right, makes it kind of in keeping with the rest of the restoration. So I'll just prepare in there uh, to remove the bottom boost pipe. That needs to come off. Just bring it out of the way just to make it easier to get everything out of the engine bay or the underside should I say. I'll just struggling with it a bit here. Uh, these are always tricky to get out. Gets her in the end though. This is going to need a clean as well before it goes back. Here he is again for all you Ben fans in the background multitasking. Bit of Facebook. He's doing a good job of uh, making an appearance in these videos considering he doesn't like them. I'll just removing the lower torque mount from the gearbox now, just to make it easier to get this front subframe out. So 
So Ben's just joined Al here just to put a bit of pressure on the hub to allow Al to split the bottom ball joint. Just makes things a bit easier. Here's Al's trolley making another appearance. Just allows him to drop down that front subframe without needing any assistance to lift it out. Just makes life a lot easier, guys. Um, just allows him to take it off gently and bounce it on top of it. Just making sure he hasn't uh, caught anything up in the subframe when he's removing it. It's now on top of the trolley and he can lift the car safely up away from the subframe. And there you have it, the subframe with all the parts attached, including the anti-roll bar, front one. Uh, the steering rack itself and a bit of the uh, power steering pipe work. Now all he's got to do is push it all down and get it ready for powder coating. So this is our removing the anti-roll bar. Uh, fairly simple job, four bolts and it's done. And there's the power steering rack coming out with it. All that remains now is three bolts to remove the lower arms from the front subframe. I'll just turn it over to get access to the two bush carriers that are on each side. And that's it. Pretty much ready for powder coating now, other than a bit of blasting. And that's where we're going to leave part two of the underbody restoration. Part three will be coming soon where we clean the underside and get the car ready to receive the new parts. In the meantime, if you like the video, then please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos and new content. Comment, like and share. It helps us out and we really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe and see you soon.